The figure shows the graph of the functions y equals f of x and y equals g of x. The four indicated points all have integer coordinates. If g of x equals k times f of x, what is the value of k? Well, you can take those two lines and get the equation of each of those two lines in slope-intercept form. And then you can compare the two. We'll start with f of x. To get the slope on f of x, that's a change in y over change in x, a rise over run. So between those two points, you can see it goes down 2 for every 1 it goes to the right. So down 2 and 1 to the right, that would be a slope of negative 2. And the y-intercept on f of x is 1. So the slope is negative 2, the y-intercept is 1. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. So in slope-intercept form, that would be f of x equals negative 2x plus 1. Now for g of x. The slope on g of x, you can see between those two points, you're going up 6 into the right 1. So up 6 into the right 1, that would be a slope of 6. The y-intercept on g of x is negative 3. So with a slope of 6 and a y-intercept of negative 3 in slope-intercept form, that would be g of x equals 6x minus 3. Now the question is, if g of x equals k times f of x, what is the value of k? So what are you multiplying f of x by to get g of x? One way to do that is to divide 6x by negative 2x, that's negative 3, and divide negative 3 by 1, that's again negative 3, that's a good thing. So if g of x equals k times f of x, you're multiplying f of x by negative 3 to get g of x. In other words, k is negative 3.